Huawei is the world's leading communications company and holds a large number of patents in 5G networks. However, Huawei's communication is not only covering the ground, but now it is also piercing the sky and laying out satellite communication. In this field, Huawei has announced a new patent for satellite communication, which means that Huawei has a deeper accumulation in satellite communication technology. What kind of patented technology is this? Could satellite communications become the trend for smartphones? Huawei publishes satellite communication patent. The Mate 50 series is the world's first smartphone that supports satellite communication functions. With the blessing of Huawei's self-developed technology, it has successfully popularized satellite communication through the short message transmission capability of BIDA satellites. In the past, to achieve satellite communication, it was necessary to use a special satellite phone, but the Mate 50 series reduces costs, improves communication efficiency, and can also be of great use when necessary. It can be said that the satellite communication function of Huawei Mate 50 series is of historic significance. However, Huawei did not stop there in satellite communication and announced a new satellite communication patent. According to public information, the satellite communication patent published by Huawei is titled Short Message Sending Method, Related Apparatus, Equipment, and Readable Storage Medium. It is introduced in the patent abstract that this patent can send a short message from the first terminal of the cellular network to the second terminal, and when the second terminal is located in the satellite communication network during detection, it can send a prompt message to the first terminal. Finally, through these methods, users can obtain more efficient and accurate satellite communication services. It should be noted that the application date for Huawei's patent is March 18, 2021, and it will not be officially released until September 27, 2022. It can be seen that Huawei has been deploying satellite communications for some time. Even earlier, Huawei used BIDA satellites to promote the layout of the consumer market bringing expensive and inconvenient satellite communication functions to thousands of households. Now, Huawei has done it. Not only that, the satellite communication of the Mate 50 series has also won unanimous praise under the user's experience. Anyone who has experienced it knows that during the public beta period, you can get 30 free text messages and each time you send a text message, you can send it to four contacts. The outgoing text messages will be accompanied by location information and will generate action tracks. In the case of people in distress, this function can provide rescuers with good information assistance. Even if you don't participate in the rescue, you can report safety to your family without a signal. In short, the satellite communication of the Mate 50 series has truly changed the traditional communication method of ground-based stations. With Huawei's announcement of a new patent for satellite communication, it is bound to continue on this road, bringing users a better service experience. Could satellite communications become a smartphone trend? At present, only the Mate 50 series on the domestic market supports the satellite communication function, while the satellite communication of the Apple iPhone 14 can only be used in the United States and Canada. Moreover, the text messages sent to the outside world are provided to the rescue station and the contact person cannot be designated. If the rescue station starts to rescue, 
all the expenses incurred shall be borne by the individual. Just imagine, if the user just wants to communicate with the family, and then the rescue station sends out the helicopter and causes the cost of tens of thousands of dollars, how many people can afford it? In contrast, we know that the satellite communication of Huawei Mate 50 series is the most suitable for mass use. So can satellite communications become the trend for smartphones. For other mobile phone users, presumably also want to experience the satellite communication function. In fact, it is not impossible for satellite communication to be popularized in the smartphone market. First of all, China's BIDA satellite has already achieved independent global networking and is being vigorously promoted to the consumer market to form an industrialized commercial value. The unique short message communication function of BIDA will support the development of satellite communications, enabling smartphones to connect to satellites and send short messages. Secondly, Google is developing satellite communication functions for the next version of the Android system, and upstream chip manufacturers, such as Qualcomm and MediaTek, are also making platform layouts. In terms of mobile phone manufacturers, Jilis Xingji Times confirmed that it will launch a smartphone that supports satellite communication functions to realize the integration of heaven and earth. Even if it produces deserts, oceans, plateaus and other environments, it can send information to the outside world. Therefore, the trend of satellite communication becoming a smartphone will become inevitable. As for when the major mobile phone manufacturers will launch satellite communication mobile phones, it is unknown. Thanks to its leading ICT technology, Huawei has been able to rapidly develop satellite communication functions, but there must be a huge effort behind this. If other mobile phone manufacturers can establish cooperation and jointly develop satellite communication systems, it will not only reduce the development cost, but also shorten the development cycle. Of course, the specific development plan depends on the mobile phone manufacturers themselves, and Huawei has done a good demonstration. It is not ruled out that after the Mate 50 series, Huawei is also equipped with satellite communication functions in other mobile phone products. With the gradual popularization of satellite communication, it is also expected to form a new industry and bring more breakthroughs in scientific and technological innovation. Huawei pierces the sky upwards and takes root downwards. The deployment of satellite communications upwards and the development of operating systems downwards Everyone can see the achievements of deep cultivation in these fields of science and technology. A self-developed operating system, imaging system, Kunlun glass, and other hardcore technologies integrated in the Mate 50 let the outside world know Huawei's persistence and belief in scientific research. Such a spirit is admirable. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.